In this video, we will learn how to compare the means using Microsoft Excel. So in this video, we are covering independent t-test and man Whitney u test, pair t-test, before after plot, and Wilcoxon sign rank test, ANOVA, including one-way ANOVA, two-way with replication and without replication, and cross curve values test. So please open the Excel practice file. So as you can see that old and young rats so there are two groups here and these two groups are independent groups. So first of all, you will, have, you will have to calculate the size with the count function, mean, standard deviation and 95% CI with confidence dot T, this function. So and it's always better to plot a, a mean plus or minus 95% CI plot. This I have already taught you how to do that in uh, the last video. So here you can see that the 95% CI error bars do not overlap and I can instantly conclude that the means are significantly differing. So to, to do that in a formal p-value test, so you will have to do a t-test. So to do the t-test, all you have to do is that just go highlight this one. I click here on the data and analysis, data analysis and the data analysis tool pack will come here. So, as you can see, you just have to drag it. There are three types of t-test, paired and two, in, two sample assuming equal variance or unequal variance. Earlier days, we used to do an f-test here to see the equality of the variance and then choose t-test appropriately. But nowadays, the statisticians recommend always go with the equal variance because unequal variance is not a good test at all. So it is highly erroneous. So it's always better to go with equal variance. And then I click OK. So then it will ask you which one, what are the variable one range and variable two range. So here is my first variable. I click here enter. So this is my second variable. I click the second variable also and I click enter. This includes the labels. So I have to click here labels. Don't worry about hypothesized mean difference and it will be a new worksheet ply. So I click OK. So as you see that this is my, the results has come up in a new worksheet to the left of the independent uh, worksheet number six. Here you can see that the always go with the two tail, the p-value. So the p-value is here 0 0.0030. So it is quite significant. So that, that means the differences are significant between old and young rats. So that is the in nutshell how to perform the, the independent t-test. Now let us do how to do this man Whitney u test. So of course the Excel data analysis do not support the man Whitney test. So instead of that, we'll have to click on the add-ins, click real statistics, data analysis tools. And here there must be an option for a man Whitney u test. So you can click here miscellaneous, non-parametric and okay. So here is a man Whitney uh, u test. So here the input range for the first and second one. So here let us click on this minus symbol and click here. This is the first one including the labels. So input range two is young including the labels. So I will have to click column headings are included. Alpha is defined. So the t-test or non-parametric. Of course this is a non-parametric test, not the t-test. And these are independent variables and uh, I click OK. So it will override the existing data. I click OK. So as you can see that the data here is that old young and one tail and p tail, two tail of the, the p values have already been calculated for the man with new test. So as you can see that the exact p value of the two tail is always better. So the two tail p value is basically uh, 0 0.003 which is quite identical to our earlier data. So this is how to perform the man with new u test using uh, the, the real stat add-in. Now let us go to the second type of test called pair t-test. So in this case, the Darwin's data cross-fertilized and self-fertilized. So a uh, very good way to visualize this data is by this call uh, before and after plot, how to generate. So let me delete this plot. So how to generate the before and after plot. So I click here insert after highlighting it. I click recommended charts. So instead of this, this is the line chart. So I go good with the, the line plot. 
the line plot so instead of the normal line plot I go with the reverse order line plot here on the right side I click OK and I just reduce the uh, you know the width of the line plot and I totally increase the overall line so it looks more convenient to me so this is the before and after plot so most of the values are reduced from cross fertilized to self fertilized except two values which are increasing so this is a very good way to visualize this data now let us do a pair t test to do that it's very simple I just have to highlight all these values and I click here data data analysis and t test paired right I click OK so the variable one is uh, the cross fertilized variable two is the self fertilized and the labels are there alpha is 0 0.05 and new worksheet ply I click OK so this is the new sheet has come here on the left side sheet number seven and if I double click a this uh, in between the two columns so everything is now coming up here so the two tail p value is 0 0.0497 which is very near to 0 0.05 or cutoff for threshold p value so that means the significance is only the borderline that is how you have to conclude it for the pair t test so you can also perform a Wilcoxon sign rank test which is a non-parametric not supported by the excel but supported by our add-in so for that you click here add-in real statistics data analysis tools I go with the miscellaneous non-parametric test click OK so Wilcoxon sign rank test is what you would like to go with so crystal valleys Friedman and goodness of it is there um, I, this man Whitney and Wilcoxon sign so I click here the input range is uh, my cross fertilized alone So we'll have to define the whole thing, cross fertilized, including self fertilized. This is my input range and column headings are also included. So which test would you like to go with? Sign test is fine and uh, Man Whitney and Wilcoxon sign rank test is what you would like to perform. Right. So let us go with this test and uh, uh, all these options have been selected. So output is the new sheet. I click OK. So as you see that the sign test alpha is 0 0.05 and the p-value is 0 0.007. So that means it is significant as per the sign test or Wilcoxon sign rank test. So this is how to perform Wilcoxon sign rank test with a paired uh, result. So uh, the data. Now coming to ANOVA to perform the ANOVA is quite simple. You can perf you can do ANOVA using the built-in tool itself so you click here the data data analysis so there are multiple types of ANOVA we have got uh, four data here the first one is uh, you know the, the usual one-way ANOVA as well as Kruskal values so to perform it you click here data analysis so I scroll up to see the ANOVA single factor ANOVA in this case it's the single factor ANOVA I click OK so what is the input range so I will have to click here all my input range here this one and labels are there in the first row so these groups are with the columns right of course these groups are by the columns so I have to click here columns alpha is 0 0.05 output will be a new worksheet ply I click OK so as you can see that this is a summary table of the ANOVA and this is the ANOVA result here you can see the ANOVA result the p-value is 3.36 e minus 0. Uh, uh, minus uh, 0 0.06 so that means 10 to the power minus 6 so it is very very low so there is significant differences in the ANOVA result says but unfortunately there is no uh, uh, case test in this case of the, the built-in uh, analysis tool pack we can also perform the same thing ANOVA with our add-in the real statistics so you click real stat data analysis ANOVA so instead of ANOVA, we'll do a follow-up of the two-factor with, uh, you know, uh, is it basically two-factor? It's not two-factor, it's only one-factor ANOVA. We'll do a follow-up ANOVA. There is nothing but post hoc tests. I click OK. So what is the input range? So you'll have to see the input range, including the column headers. So this is my input range. So I will have to 
uh, click here Tukis HSD is a very good option and the output range instead of output range I click new so that means a new worksheet will be opened up so I click here uh, the last two columns of the input range must only contain the numeric values so that means that input range I will I just have to use only the input range without any column headers so to key such as T in the new so I can uh, I can click here okay so there is some issue with this uh, input range in the two keys HST of uh, uh, you know of this uh, ANOVA follow-up of uh, my real stat it's not working finally so that doesn't 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 matter so that you know that uh, there is some glitch with the real statistics plugin as well sometimes so it doesn't work so no problem now let us see uh, how to perform the two-way with replication with the built-in add-in of the data analysis tool pack of the excel so i click here data analysis and over two factor with replication i click here okay so what is my input range i have to define this is my input range so i click here this is my input range only my input is highlighted and rows per sample per sample there are two rows so i click here two and the new worksheet apply i click okay Two factor each sample must contain the same number of rows so the same number of of course the, the number of rows are same so here the rows per sample so I, I click here everything so let me highlight the entire thing so rows per sample is two with new worksheet ply so as you can see here this is the summary table and the p-value here is a sample columns and interaction so as you can see that sample the column p-value is very low sample p-value is also very low interaction p-value all are significant basically but the sample is more significant that means the row so what are our rows here the rows are the cement rather than the water that the you know the differences in the cement is a lot more important so this is how to perform the with the replication so this is the yet another example with the ph so let us do the same way I go to the data analysis and uh, the, the with, with replication I, I choose so the, the input range here is this is my input range rows per sample is 2 this in this case there is no replication so I have to cancel it so without replication is what I have to choose so input range is this is my input range there is labels a new worksheet ply so as you can see that the p-value for the rows is very low but columns is a lot lot lower so that means uh, the column matters more than the row so the column is nothing but the pH so differences in the pH is more important than that of the temperature now finally for the two-way uh, with replications so this is uh, the same data with the replication so replication is nothing but technical replications so to perform it data analysis ANOVA two factor with replication I will go with this so input range here is that I will have to choose all these things is the input range so rows per sample there are two rows per sample so new worksheet apply so as you can see this is my the uh, you know this is what the total ANOVA the p-value as you can see that the sample p-value is this while columns of this interaction is very low so this is how to perform the ANOVA using uh, you know using the built-in add-on uh, as well as the Kruskal values somehow the Kruskal values didn't work let us let's try once again the Kruskal values using the add-in so I go to the the, the real stat data analysis tools so ANOVA I can I can choose ANOVA follow up uh, two factor or just the normal ANOVA you can you can choose the normal ANOVA I click OK so input range is this is my input range so to kiss HSD is what I would like to perform for the follow up so you can click here OK somehow the Tukis HSD follow-up is not working so does contrast work the contrast is also not working so it doesn't matter 
so sometimes the add-in doesn't work so for the crystal values test so you can uh, go to the non parametric test the non parametric test so and then you can choose crystal values and click ok so the input range for crystal values test is this is my input range which is excel and if the column headings are included then you have to select once again with the column headers so crystal values test with uh, excel format we can also do ANOVA follow up and the crystal values follow up also you can choose you know for the crystal values test so you can choose all these uh, options for the crystal values and then uh, it will be a new worksheet. It's always better to open a new worksheet. So you can see that I know a single factor is there, and the result with the uh, uh, you know the with the with the p-value identical p-value which I got from the data analysis tool pack. And now you go on the right side the Kruskal values test. As you can see that the p-value of Kruskal values test is uh, very low. It's again it's a significant. Remember Kruskal values is a non-parametric method, and now uh, the uh, you know the Q test of the Tukis HST is given here as you can see the p-value of Tukis HST at all these combinations everything is uh, you know uh, most of these things are uh, you know uh, significant for example uranium versus lead is significant uranium versus arsenic is significant however uh, lead versus mercury is not significant so as arsenic versus mercury is not significant the same results that we got it in graph that prism and the follow-up for the crucial values test is uh, nemne test so here also you can see the uranium versus lead the p-value is this you know you can see that uh, which is not really significant uranium versus lead so this p-values you can infer after the crucial values test so this is how the, the, the usual crucial values p-value is this is the crucial values p-value so this is how to perform the crucial values test as well as um, the follow-up or to kiss hst using the real statistics add-in in the excel sheet thank you for watching